Tachi Palace Fight 7's Deck the Hall. Here we go. Lesio very patient earlier. He was extremely patient against War Machine, too. Again, he, has so much, he has so much experience, man, that he just goes out there and just takes his time. He doesn't rush anything. And I think this is a perfect fight for him, too, because he still had a tough time cutting away in his five-round fight. So the longer the fight goes, the better it is for, uh, for John. Absolutely. He knows he's got 25 minutes to work with. He's got the experience of 43 professional bouts. I do stand corrected. I did say uh, three five-minute rounds, but it is a championship belt fight, and it is five. That's why I was kind of shocked when I saw it on the monitor last time I read anything off of there. <laughs> Can't trust it. Yeah, very, very patient. Unless, you know, like you said, Phil Collins has had some fatigue problems in the past, did have problems cutting weight. Phil Collins has power in either hand. He can land a big punch. I think, you know, I'm pretty sure it would be his, uh, you know, be smart of him to early in the process try to uh, land a big punch. It's interesting to me because Phil's more, he's known more of a striker, but most of his wins are by submission, but they don't give him the credit for his grappling skills, which is it's kind of weird, you know? And even he, he said, he's like, he's like, I'm a submission guy. People think I'm just like, I can knock people out. But um, he's having a tough time with John, you know? John's real good on the ground also, you know? If he's on top of you. He's been along for a long night. Yeah, he's worked on that part of his game uh, for a while now. But this might not be the guy you want to test that out on. No, Alessio is very well-rounded, very comfortable in every aspect of the game. Phil Collins is pumping that jab out, but you can see. There's the big right hand. You can see Alessio just patient. He's got good defense with his hands up high, moving his head back. You know, I don't know if he's been hit once yet. And Phil keeps on switching from southpaw to conventional. I wonder if that's part of the strategy or if there's something he sees that, you know, in that fight that he can capitalize against John. Yeah, maybe try to make Alessio a little uncomfortable, not get into that rhythm. Or it could be his shooting side and his southpaw side. And that's why he switches to, to go for the take now. Oh, oh big left up. hand. Alessio popped back up. He just Said he high. slipped. <laughs> Pointed to the mat. He's fine. Showing a lot of respect for each other. Yeah, they're having fun in there. It's interesting, though. That was one of the first times Alessio really moved forward, and he got caught with a counter. You can see there's those big winging haymakers from Phil the King Collins. One thing Phil's doing good, he's throwing combinations, though. You know, he's not just doing one shot. He's coming in through that hook, straight right hook to the to the head off that. Yeah, and you know what? He's he's worked on that part of his game, but what happens, what I've seen in watching Phil Collins fight, and I've seen him a number of times, is that later in the fight, when he gets a little more winded, the combinations kind of go away. Then it turns into the one big punch. Yeah, looking for the big haymakers. Yeah. And if he tries to do that, he will get absolutely outboxed by, by John Alessio. There's no question about that. Yeah, and John's, uh, he has a nice little six-pack going, so trying to go attack the body on him might not be the best strategy. Yeah, I loaned that to him before the fight, back in the dressing room. I'm going to need that back, John. There's the big left hand up the middle. Alessio, very, very patient. Oh, there's a nice right. But Phil Collins is being the busier fighter. That caught Phil's attention, though. And Alessio, I think he's going to start throwing more kicks as the fight progresses. Yeah, interesting that he's not trying to work that lead leg at all. Again, he gets tagged again. Alessio very comfortable in there, but you got to think, you know, Phil Collins is probably winning this round right now. I think he is winning the round, but, you know, John's a, he's a good strategist. I think he's trying to bring him to the later rounds. He's probably not attacking the legs because he doesn't want to give anything up right now. It's know? interesting. It seems like Alessio's in control of the fight, but Phil Collins is really winning the round. Right. I think uh, John's controlling the pace. Phil's winning the round, but, I mean, it might play to his disadvantage the more, the, uh, the more work he puts in. But his strategy's got to be involved getting... Phil Collins to be more active. Yeah, this is exactly what more. he did against War Machine. I was kind of wondering, you know, War Machine was throwing those big bombs against Alessio, and, and I kept thinking to myself, when, when is this guy going to attack? But it, it worked exactly to his advantage. He knew what he was doing. The only downside for this strategy is that if he doesn't finish him off, he's losing rounds. But Phil, when he's throwing punches, he's not really going for anything real wild, so he's not expending that much energy. Everything's kind of real calculated. So, you know, it, it might turn around and, uh, and bite him in the butt. We'll see. Alessio has come in uh, with his hands kind of down. It's surprising when he's throwing some punches, especially against a striker. Oh, there's a nice kick to the body. Kick. 
And I don't think that was a coincidence that that kick came right at the 10 second clap mark. It's one of those things I think he's gonna try to do some things later in the round so he's gonna involve more kicks. Interesting round. Again, I really do, I, you know, on my scorecard, I give that round to Phil Collins. Uh, Alessio doesn't look uncomfortable in there. He doesn't look like he's in any kind of trouble, uh, but just a little too patient. You know, didn't, didn't unleash the hands at all at any point there. Phil Collins did land a couple of decent shots, including the one, you know, maybe it's a slip, maybe it was a slip, but, you know, it looked like a, a knockdown in the, in the judges' eyes, depending on what they saw. Uh, go right here. And we're going to watch this. Again, one of the first times that Phil, uh, that Alessio really engaged in, yeah, it, 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 interesting. More of a push. <laughs> More of a push. Yeah, to the chest. More he, of a push. He got yanked by a piece of cord. <laughs> he did catch him in the body a little bit with the first punch, and I think Alessio was looking for the next body punch and caused him to kind of jump back a little quickly. But so does the Monk Winter right now. He looks like he's in good, you know, good shape, you know? So uh, maybe uh, if John's trying to, to wear him out, he needs to push the pace for the war and create more scrambles. Maybe try taking him down. His wrestling definitely tires people out. Round two action underway. Yeah, well, you know that nice kick to the body he had at the end? You know, I, I wouldn't be too hesitant to work the lead leg, which, I mean, Phil Collins wrestling couldn't be that much better than John Alessios. No, I don't think it is. I, I feel like, uh, John has good wrestling. The um, thing with the lead leg is that uh, start working it, but, you know, Phil keeps on switching stance, so. True, you're working the, both lead legs. You yeah. know, it takes a little while to mount up. You got to wonder if, if maybe that's, you know, switching stances is messing with Alessio's timing at all because he really just looked hesitant to unleash in that first round. The only time he did, he got tagged. Again, it was more of a push, but he did end up on the ground briefly. I think Phil Collins should really look to do, land some short punches. Some of the big looping punches. Little short, quick right hands. Overhand right. But at least he turned with that punch. Just, I would be surprised if that punch actually caught him flush. No, you're right. He rolled with it very, very well. No, but it looks good, though, off the judges. You know, you get hit off the shoulder, your head moves. The judge is like, okay, that punch must have hurt him. But I don't think it, like you said, it, it didn't land hard, but, you know, it just it, it looks good, you know, for the, the scorecards. We're talking to each other a little bit in there. So Phil taking a look down at the body. I don't know if, he, if he's looking for an opening there, if he's just trying to, yeah, right to the front. He's definitely looking at the body. He's this putting a dent in your six-pack. <laughs> hey, be careful with that. It's a loner. I let Phil borrow my six-pack, too. <laughs> I mean, your kick. <laughs> well, I will say this. This is Phil Collins' fight, in my eyes. I mean, sitting on the ring, moving around, throwing punches. He has uh, the percentages are higher for him to land a bigger punch and take Alicio out of here. In all the other fights that you've seen in full fight, uh, have you seen him throw a lot of leg kicks in him? No, not more, at all. More just straight boxing, traditional boxing? I think the leg kick is open for either guy. That's a slip right slip. there. Really just, Alessio again, just remaining very patient. Again, you know, as we talked about, he doesn't look like he's in a lot of trouble. Although this little flurry might damage him, but no, he's okay, but he's letting round slip away. I mean, there's nothing to prevent him from actually shooting on Phil Collins. Yeah, absolutely. At all. To the ground. Take it down, wear him out, get him tired. Stand it back up. His power is going to be less. He's going to be more tired, more winded. Well, now he's starting to attack the legs a little bit more, so it's a plus side for John. He's got to change something. You saw right away, like you mentioned, though, he, he got that nice outside leg kick, and uh, Phil Collins immediately switched stances. Yeah, he's ambidextrous. Nice little front kick there. <laughs> Does it again. There's just big bombs. Let's see looks comfortable as he dances away. A little less than two minutes left in the second round. Phil Collins is asking, hey, come on, let's get this go. Alicia is looking at him like, don't you know my style, young man? <laughs> I'm a grinder. Let's see, it does look very comfortable. He, he tagged him there, a little smile from both fighters. And what's interesting, when, when Phil comes in, he's not really pushing John to, uh, back to the cage so much because John's taking real good angles. Yeah, get him! 
cage like this is so short, sometimes the guy two, three steps to go backwards, you're up against the cage, you know, but this one he just slips outside real good and re, uh, readjusts his position. Saw Phil Collins briefly grab the leg there, but as we talked about, you know, I don't know that the wrestling's so good that he can take Alessio down. I, I think he's free to throw that leg kick as much as he wants, to be honest with you. Nice left hand there. One minute left in round two. Again, Phil Collins fighting a technical fight, landing a few punches, landing the more effective punches. Alessio's landing the leg kicks. I haven't seen one kick from Phil Collins as of yet. You're right, and he's being more patient. You know, in the past, we've seen Phil Collins just really come out winging bombs. And yeah. He is being very patient now. I think Alessio's the far more technical striker, but Phil Collins is at least doing a good job of being technical. Technically. <laughs> nice shot to the body there. You know, Alessio looks very comfortable in there. Phil Collins doing a good job of switching things up. I think Phil Collins has landed the better shots again in round two, right? I'd and have to agree with you on that. He's definitely pushing the pace more, but John's controlling the center of the ring real well, you know? He comes forward. When Phil comes at him, he just turns him. The crowd doesn't like the patience. Well, most people want fast food fighting, you know? They want it now. Yep. End of round two, especially after our last fight, how exciting that ending was. People become a little jaded. They kind of wanted to continue. This fight has slowed down to a crawl, but yet Phil Collins, I feel, is fighting the fight the way he wants to fight it. Center of the ring, control tempo. He can step back, take a breather when he wants, and it's, it's really working for him. Yeah, I mean, he's, he definitely looks, uh, you know, you look at John Alessio in his corner, he's over there just kind of chilling. You know, maybe reading a little book or something. And Phil Collins is over there. He's, he's, he's sweating pretty hard and, and breathing heavy. So, you know, maybe the, the Alessio patient strategy is working. But as we watch the replay here, you know, I think Phil Collins landed the better shots. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. I, I feel like Alessio's in control. He knows what he's doing. He's comfortable in there. Uh, maybe he's letting the fight play out the way he wants to. But I think he can very easily be down two rounds a night. Well, I think you can start trying to take him down this round. I think John will, you know, the first round was pretty much all boxing. The second round of the kicks. Now I think he can start opening up a little bit more and start wiring him down a little bit more. But I you know, Phil looks good in this fight, you know. I think, it, you know, you could say two, two, uh, two to zero right now for Phil. Round three action. Here we go. And I credit our editing team for actually finding some action from round two. He's patient. A little slow developing. Very technical. Yeah, these guys are in there smiling. And, you know, it looks like a sparring session for the most part. Jarring back and forth. Phil Collins saying a few things. Looks like Alessio trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Hopefully his corner told him, you got to open up. Oh, oh right punch. there. Big punch. I think this has got to be it, right? Oh. That's it. Well, that's more aggressive right there. Well, he listened to his corner, and that, that is a shocking stoppage. And, wow, Phil Collins is in a lot of pain. He is still down, grabbing his head. Herb Dean and, and the commissioner saying, hey, if you want to stay down, stay down. Take your time. I want to see the replay. I, I want to see the replay. I don't even know what hit him. I didn't either. You know, the next thing I know, he's on his back, and Alessio just unleashed. Right, right, right hand. Patient. Kind of left himself wide open. Let's see again. He's been patient this entire time. Really hasn't unleashed. There it uh, is. Left, a right. short left. Short, short left. left. Beautiful. Great. That is a nice punch. Short left hand on the inside. And look at the power coming through. Alessio pounced and fish. And Phil Collins has absolutely never recovered. I mean, when he went down on the ground, certainly not intelligent defense. That was survival mode there as he covered up. And, uh... I mean, after fighting a good fight, I really, you know, be interested to see the judges' card. Uh, I, I really had Phil Collins up two rounds to none, but John Alessio never looked like he was in any trouble. And uh, he delivered that short left on the inside, and, and Phil Collins is now recovered and just absolutely disappointed. Yeah, I think uh, John uh, realized that Phil's just calling with that jab. He's not really snapping it back, and he just threw that left hook over the top as he came in, and he's not in the flush. But uh, I thought Phil, you know, he put up a good fight. You know, he had nothing to be ashamed about. Didn't see it coming. It took him out. A tough fight. Let's get an official announcement from our ring announcer, Mr. Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 35 seconds of round number three. Referee Herb Dean steps in and calls a halt to the bout for your winner by TKO victory and new TPF welterweight champion, John. 
the natural Alessio.